Yo, what's going on, Sexy Semilander Squad? Real quick, I just want to say I still am sponsored by HelloFresh. As you see, we have 20 sold. I know it says 25 right there, but it actually goes all the way up to 50. So um, if you guys haven't gotten a HelloFresh box yet, you can use code POGHF64340. I know it's a long code. It'll pop up here in a second. I'll leave this up until it does. Um, but you get 21 free meals and free shipping. And also it helps me a ton. Like I said before, um, you know, I didn't upload in November and December cause I got married and then I got pretty bad bronchitis. So the sponsor really does mean a lot to me, not to mention it's actually a really good sponsor that I use personally. So, um, yeah, if you want to, I'll put a, a pinned comment and that's that we'll take that away now. And I don't want to like bombard you guys, but yeah, if you, if you want to help support me by all means, if not, that's fine too. I understand completely. All right. So the, there's a game plan today. There's a very specific game plan today, in fact, and it is, um, not going to be great early game, but it might be amazing late game. And it, I know I'm being a little bit cryptic. I'll just come out and say it. My plan is to blow him up with my alt. Now, you might be thinking that's like every assets plan ever. Yes, but I'm going to go upgraded horrific. I'm going to go the one that you normally don't go, which is the one that makes them tremble when you do enough damage to them. <clears throat> so that will keep them in my, my alt for a little longer. And then I'm going to be going uh, upgraded sprint, which if I can show you here... That I can't show you. I can't show you here. Why, why won't it let me show upgraded? That's weird. Either way, I'm going to go the upgraded sprint. And I know a lot of you guys know upgraded sprint has a root on it. Obviously, the soul does not want anything um, to do with me. So I'm just going to go ahead and out clear the bejesus out of her. And then I'm going to take my winnings, a.k.a. The time that I have <laughs> from out clearing. I'm going to try to get this. I definitely might not, but I'm also 100% capable of attempting. And I did get it. Uh, big silence. I missed. I'm going to horrific him here because he does out trade me and I don't want him to kill me. You wouldn't out trade me if I didn't miss, but you know. Oh, big damage. Yeah, you definitely do not outtrade me at the moment. He bought a ward on a, I can only assume on accident. I'm gonna alt this because this is my blue buff. Sorry. Oh god, he's coming. Oh lord help. I have enough mana for a stun and a one. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the one to my detriment because I will lose a bit of health. Never mind. Oh baby. You got to be a little bit more cautious there. got to be a little more cautious there, Saul. You can't just be running at me. You can't just be dub so it will bring good fortune. Oh, I got his blue. I got my red. Um, I really wish I didn't pick up red. I just have a habit, honestly, of picking up red buffs. Because I know I said in yesterday's video. And granted, yesterday's video was a loss, but... Um, I said in yesterday's video, I don't like picking up red on mages. And that's actually true unless they have incredibly good sustain, like mana sustain. Like Hades is really good with it because you need to use two abilities to clear. And then you can just AFK forever and get your mana back until the next wave shows up. A set is really good with mana. Uh, assuming that you can use your one to clear and that they don't have a way to stop it. And in this case, they don't. So I'm really good at mana conservation in this matchup I'm auto attacking ow uh, I mean there's nothing up for me but like I said I am going to go a one shot build which means no defense which always leads to some funky scenarios because going no defense could be tricky at the best of times and downright terrible at the worst of times so We'll, uh, we'll see which one it shows its face today. Hopefully, just a little bit tricky, but I do have a 700 gold lead. I'm, I'm pressuring, pressuring him a lot. 
Thanks to my great clear. All right, big silence. Big one. All right. Uh, I did really want to see if I could maybe, uh, what is it called? Horrific him right there, but I decided it's probably against my better, a better judgment. Very speedy, this man. Alright. The alt is gone. Not bad for me. Not yet. I want to make sure that I can get his blue buff. I don't know if I can. Because I did clear the red really slow. And also, I don't have alt to secure the blue. But we'll see. Maybe he wasn't paying attention to timer or something. My two is my better secure, so I'm just going to save it for that. And lucky me, he wasn't paying attention to timer. Literally perfect. Don't hit me. I missed. Ooh. He's got that defense. That tier one. Oh, where are the treasure chests? Are they right here? They're not. The reason I'm only using my two there and not using... Ah, my one is because I expected him to hit me. Oh, you really do not scare me, like, at all, huh? Oh, nice. Killed him with the 69 damage auto attack. Literally couldn't be better. Everything is going perfectly so far. 1.2k up. Few levels up. All of this stuff is mandatory for this to work. Uh, I guess the treasure chest right there, probably. We'll get the Warlock Staff. And I would get potions, but I really don't need them, if I'm honest. He still has a ward, which doesn't help him. Um, I do get... Like, he's going defense right now, but I do get 10% pen once my Warlock is fully stacked. So, I'm hoping... Maybe I'm able to manage a little bit. Hello. He popped the wing shard, so I'm just going to juke rather than auto attack. Oh. Good ult. I do believe you can die here. Perfect. Perfect. All right, can you can these group up close enough? Nice. Uh, all right, damage. Murden obviously seems really good for me. Rod also seems really good. Obviously, I want the sprint. Um, I need to get some pen online. Let's look at the penetration options I have here. Spear of Magus has 10% pen. That could be really good here. Hello? I'm embarrassed that I missed that, and I would like if nobody talked about that. Um, I guess we just go Spear Magus and Ob Shard because we want a one hit. Hello. That's a yikes from me, dog. That is a yikes from me, dog. Can I just have this though? Oof. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I can't. Maybe he does too much numbies to me. Oh, he gets his blue buff. You know what? I'll trade my life for a blue buff. Oh, I do want that red, actually. I didn't know I didn't pick it up. Thank you. And you know what? While I'm here, let's just greet a wave, shall we? I'm dead. I'm dead. I deserve it. Oh, God. Okay, I panic ulted. I panic ulted. I'm nervous. 
What are the odds he comes over here? Zero? Ah! A lot more than zero. That's for damn sure. Oh, big zombies, big zombies, big zombies, big zombies. You're scared. You're scared. All right, there's his ult. Oh, shit. The wing shard. Nice. All right, that was a little close. A little closer than I wanted it to be. Sorry, I got to catch my breath. That scared the bejesus out of me. Maybe I just go Magus now instead of Rod. Get some pen online a little bit quicker. It also, with the 10% pen, it also does give me 7.5% more damage and the 110 power. So it's not like it doesn't do anything without the passive. My goal right now, though, is to literally... I want to I wanna alt, and then I want to two him, and then I want to one him, and I want to detonate my alt, and I want him to die. Don't hit me. Darn. Also, the lifesteal I'm getting from Spear of the Magus is really helpful. But it is so hard for me to do anything. Hmm. I do want a poly. Like, getting a poly for power push is a smart idea here, but I'm just not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. For one reason and one reason only. Uh, I want my alt to do at least 75% of the, the damage on uh, on the kill that I get. If my ult doesn't do at least 75% of his health, IMO could have been better. Well, he got a Spear of the Magus. I don't love a Spear of the Magus from him. I don't love that for him. Oh. Ow. Oh, man. Well, that's not good for me. Uh-oh. There's the wing shard. All right. Come to me. Darn. He's got a few ways to get out of this ultimate. Unfortunately. He's got complete CC immunity on his alt. And he's also got the three that makes it very hard for me to capture any actual damage onto him. Nope. Not today. Alright. Rod should be ready. I'll slap one on. Also noted is my warlock staff has 10 percent pen my rod has 10 percent pen and my spear has 10 percent pen so i actually don't need more pen i think i'm fine the end comes swiftly and quickly. i think i'm fine um i could just like cap the percent pen at 40 with a spear of the or a staff of Meriden wouldn't be bad. I mean, I could go Staff of Meriden and then... Ouch. And then what after? Damn, that ult. Ouch. He's so fast on his toes with that ult. Oh! <laughs> Yo! He walked into it and my two did 900 damage. You cannot be doing that, brother. You cannot be doing that. My goodness. I would like some cooldown, honestly. If for no other reason to attempt my combo more often. So maybe I'll just go Chronos Pendant next item. Because I'm at a, a whopping 0% cooldown. Or apparently I'm at 10%. 
Wait, I lied? No, penetration, magical. No, 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 no. I'm looking for cooldown. Oh, yeah, I'm at 0%. Ooh, 512. Nasty number, brother. Oh, I should not have done this. My God, you do numbies. My jeepers. Jeepers, my periwinkled man. I don't know what that means. I don't know what I don't know what a periwinkled man means. I also don't know why I said it, but I did. So I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> oh, I am so dead. All right, you get your blue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I even thought about maybe potentially trying to take that buff from you. That's on me. I'll never do it again. I'm going to go the tremble thing. So what does it do? If I do damage to them, they're tremble for three seconds. So, basically, all I have to do is use the horrific and then or use my wait you're dead all i have to do is use my horrific and then hit him with my two and then no no that's not the combo i have to use my alt and then hit him with my horrific and then hit him with my two and then he'll be trembled in my ult, and then he can't move, and then he's dead. And I have to do that while he doesn't have beads, he doesn't have his three, and he doesn't doesn't have his ult. So there's about five or six factors limiting this this combo from happening. But I think I can do it. Assuming he doesn't surrender while I'm getting prepared. Oh, he's got hecka lifesteal. He got a lot of lifesteal items there. And does very much many damages to me. Very much many? What the fuck? What did I just say? Ooh, big damn. Oh, you gotta be a little more scared than that, baby boy. Better run. Better run. Um, what's my last item? Is it? Oh, that was decent. Only 628 damage though. He's got 2000 health. That's only, I don't know, like 35% of his health. That's pretty lame. I'm not ending off that. My two just did a thousand damage to red buff though. That's insane. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think I'm still down to go Meriden. I think I'm still down to go for the Meriden. Now make no mistake. If I die a single time, this game is over. I will have lost. I'm fighting a soul who has Polynomicon. And like quadruple lifesteal or will have quadruple lifesteal. There is no shot. If he kills me, he doesn't take everything I own at once. Don't kill me. Please. Oh, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Pop. Oh, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would do. Jeez. Pop. I missed. Hmm. I do have my Meriden. Ready and able to be purchased. I still don't have my Sprout. My Sprint Root yet. I do have 1,014 power though. Wow. 
There's quite a lot of power. The end comes swiftly and quickly. I I'm going to just go for it, honestly. I don't have my root sprint, and he has everything up that he needs. Oh, there's the three. Oh. Walk into it, please. It did do 2,000 damage to Titan. My fully charged alt did just smack Titan for 2k. That's kind of a lot. By kind of, I mean like that's a that's a lot. Um I need at least 1300 gold before I back because that's going to get me my fully upgraded sprint and a 500 pot. Oh, that is not good for me. Excuse me, my friend. I'm just going to run away. Uh, which one is fruit? This one. And this. And hopefully I can get to the red buff in time because I would love to have that. I need all the help I can get. This might one hit red buff. Pretty damn close. 1300 damage. The end comes swiftly and quickly. He's got wards right there. Two of them. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Okay. That counts. That did 1300 damage. Holy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That did so much. My, my two just did 1200. My one does 2000 damage to Titan. Whoa, this is crazy. My damage is off the charts. 1100 power, 40% pen. And on top of that, 40% cooldown. I max cooldown, max pen, 1100 power. That's a really strong build, actually. Holy. Well, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said in the very beginning, please check out the HelloFresh if you've never used it before. I would recommend it. It's very cheap. It's very good food. It's very simple. If not, that's okay. I completely understand. Um, love you guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time, guys, peace.